Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to After Type Reviewers. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing an application called Abbey Fine Scanner for the iPhone and iPod Touch. So when you open it up, this is what you're going to see. It is going to open up in the camera view. And uh, so what this will allow you to do is take a scan or a picture of any document, receipt, a book, anything like that, and easily file it and obviously scan it into uh, one of many formats that you can choose from. So when you start it up, this is what you see. Like I said, up here at the top left, you can see you have a flash option. You can turn that on or off. Um, you have a text option up here. And also this option will take three pictures of whatever document you're trying to scan and it will choose the best for you. So that is a cool little feature. So you see uh, there's doc and there's book. So what are those? So doc is basically the default. So if you wanna just take a picture of one quick piece of paper or a receipt, just take a picture like that. If you swipe over and you have a premium account, you can choose book mode. So I will turn my phone like this. You can see book top, book bottom, and then there's this divider. So if you take a picture of a book, just like this, and you got you know one here, uh, one page here and one page here, it will automatically split up the book pages into their own separate documents, which is awesome. And it will recognize that they're two different pages. And it will um, also take out any of the curves from the book because obviously books aren't completely flat. So they've got a really great um, algorithm within the software that does that. And I don't know uh, how many other scanner apps can do that, but it looks really good. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So take a picture, pretty simple. You just take a picture like this, it saves it, then you hit next. And well, normally there would be text or something, but you can crop it, you know, you can change colors, you can put it in just black and white if you want. And once it processes it, you can change the name, format, you can tag it. Uh, these are the default tags that you can use, but you can obviously make more in the settings. So that's just a quick uh, demo of how it works. I'm going to delete this because there's nothing there. And then if I click on this button, you go into your menu. This is where all of the things that you've taken pictures of uh, are saved. So I took a picture of a book and uh, it is a Windows book. I don't know, I just took a picture of it because I had it lying around. And at, look at this detail. Like if I zoom in here, this looks really good. This looks like I put it onto a Xerox scanner uh, copier. So, you know, I can zoom in, you can make out every single word and it looks good. I mean, it even has this highlighting and stuff that a normal scanner would do. It looks good. And this was not flat at all. Like this was on this table and it was all curled up and stuff like this was not completely flat, but the algorithms and everything within the software really made it look good. So uh, if I swipe over, here's the other page. And mind you, this was just one uh, picture using the book mode. I just took it like that and it automatically split all this up. This side looks even better because it had less um, of a curve in the page. And yeah, so everything is super clear, easy to see. You can share it down here. Uh, if I click this, uh, I can send all to anything I want, email, print it to a cloud service, save it in camera roll, and yeah, or I can delete it. So I can also edit from here if I want, which I don't want to do. Now let me just show you, this was a document. I took this in the document format, so this would be just a normal page of paper, or um, maybe you're in class and the professor wrote something on the board and you know that the professor always you know, erases stuff really quickly. This would be a great application uh, to use to take a picture of that board. So anyways, this is just what a normal document would look like. This is just the front of the book that I was taking a picture of. So yeah, I'm gonna go back here. So as you can see, this one's considered a book, this one's considered a document, and this one, it couldn't really recognize it because I just took a picture of a, something on my computer. But if you want to um, quickly go into each, uh, if you want to categorize them, I guess you should say, uh, you can see here I've got book, here I've got documents. And so imagine you've got a bunch of receipts, you want those filed under documents, and then you can tag them for personal expenses or work or whatever and have everything really categorized and really neat and orderly. So up here at the top left, you've got a search menu. You can uh, type in anything, a tag or uh, a name of a document that you put in and it will find it for you. Top right, you've got the settings. So as you can see, I do have a, a premium account until uh, December 16th of next year. Recognize text, which is awesome. Uh, I've got that. It can recognize different languages, which is super cool. I don't know of any other scanner app that can actually do that. Um, but it's got text uh, recognition right here, which they call OCR and other cool features, 44 recognition languages, 12 editable formats. And uh, I think that sends it off to a server, which is why the internet is required. Um, but still super cool that it can do that. And like I said, I don't know of any other scanner app that can. 
protect PDF with password. That is also a premium feature. Uh, if you do have a premium account, you can do that or choose to do that if you want. Uh, these are just general settings like saving the original, um, choose the quality and stuff like that. You can you know, disable analytics and stuff, which obviously I'm going to do because that's how I roll. I can go back to the camera by clicking this or I can hit this info button down here to learn a little bit more about the company as I miss the button. Um, rate the app, recommend it to a friend and more. So overall, this is an awesome scanner app. This is probably the best one. I've used probably maybe 10 different ones uh, from the app store over the past six years. But overall, this one is super, super awesome. So I really like this one, guys. If you guys wanna check it out, it is free in the app store right now. I have it linked down below in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.